Let's go to the next game, which will include your Georgia Bulldogs. Oof. Auburn is getting a nice 24 and a half points here. The over under is 52 and a half. So Auburn on offense, we know they've been bad. They averaged 23 and a half points per game, which is 77th in the country. Yards per game, 425 and a half. That's 43rd in the country. Uh, they averaged 6.4 yards per play, which is 28th in the country. They averaged 4.9 yards per carry, which is 39th in the country. And then yards per pass is actually surprising here. I was kind of surprised by this. I bet this is mostly because the wide receivers are making plays. 8.5 yards per pass for Auburn, yeah. which is 27th in the country. I was kind of surprised when I saw that. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, they give up 22.8 points per game, which is 48th. They give up uh, 351.3 yards, which is 50th in the country, and 5.1 yards per play, which is 46th in the country. Uh, they are giving up 6.8 yards per pass, which is 53rd in the country, and they also have a sack rate of 5.38, so they're not really getting after the quarterback. And they only give up, I thought they'd be a little bit lower here, but 3.9 yards per rush, which is 52nd in the country. And then Georgia, their defensive stats definitely took a hit here from last week. Georgia, but on offense, they scored 27 points per game, which is 66. They have to get better on that on the offensive side of the ball. That's not good enough for what the amount of talent they have. 409 yards, which is 49th in the country. 6.3 yards per play, which is 29th in the country. Uh, yards per rush is 4.2, which, again, thought would have been higher with the talent you have in the backfield, which is 69th in the country. Uh, yards per pass is 8.2, which is high, which is 36th in the country. And then on the defensive side of the ball, they give up 18.7 points per game. Obviously, the Alabama game hurt that a little bit. 24th in the country. Uh, yards per play, 5.2, which is 52nd in the country. On rushing against the rush, they're 3.9 yards per rush, 55th in the country. That took a big hit because I think last week it was like one point something. So that jumped up over two yards per rush. And then seven yards per pass, which is 60th in the country. So honestly, I'm – Surprised with the Georgia defense, but obviously the Alabama game favors heavily in that. And then surprisingly with the Georgia offense, they do pass a little bit better than I thought they did. But what do you have to say about this game? Well, uh, I'm a Georgia fan. If you, if you, if any of you guys here are new, um, and a lot of these uh, stats are skewed because Georgia in the first half, oh my goodness, their offense hasn't been clicking on cylinders. I mean, they scored six points against Clemson, uh, three against Kentucky had seven against Alabama. You're not going to w- – listen, you're, if, you're, if your offense comes out and, and uh, does that week in, week out, you're going you're gonna to lose to a team that you shouldn't, and this could be that team. Auburn has lost three games in which they should have won. Auburn could easily be 5-0, and but they sit there at 2-3, and or at the least of it, be 3-2. and Shouldn't have lost to Cal, shouldn't have lost to Arkansas, should not have lost to Oklahoma. They had that game in the bag. And uh, you make a great point. As Lambert Smith is averaging like 30 yards per catch, and I, I wish I was trolling. I think it's like 27 and a half yards per catch, uh, the Penn State transfer. So, yeah, the, the, I think Georgia, and I and I hope I'm right, I think Georgia's going to come out angry and, and upset with last week because – I've seen Kirby Smart coach up his team after a loss, and usually, knock on wood, Georgia dominates. I want to see a Georgia team go in. Uh, this is this Georgia's first home game, or it's actually well, second of the year, first home game since week two, second home game of the season. It's week six, so shout out to the SEC for that. But I think Georgia is finally going to start to click on cylinders. I hope Travis Etienne is, is – or sorry, not Travis. Trevor Etienne is, is uh, going to be able to wake up here and uh, do a little bit more. I mean, he only has one touchdown on the season. Georgia's rush game hasn't been as good in that first quarter. I mean, uh, you said we, we averaged four yards, I think, at what, what 4.2. Uh, I'm willing to bet you that we're averaging six yards in the second half and two yards in the first half. That's just how Georgia has been. I think Georgia plays a, a cleaner game this time. Forces some turnovers against Auburn. I think the Dogs win 31 to 10. I, I would take Auburn in the points, maybe a late TD for the Tigers. This is the game in which Georgia has to establish it early and beat the brakes off of Auburn. I don't necessarily think that's going to happen because I do respect Auburn's defense and Hugh Freeze's, uh, uh, well, not offense because, I mean, they, have, they don't have a quarterback. <laughs> Uh, but, but, but watch, George is going to give up 100 points uh, because of their secondary. I don't necessarily think that's going to be 
the case. I think George is going to come out angry and upset with with uh, how last week ended. And I think they're going to wow the crowd and, and beat Auburn comfortably. Uh, um, uh, well, 21-point win is a good cushion, in my opinion. Um, maybe Auburn gets that late TD. I would take – I guess I have to take Auburn in the points. Um, definitely in the first half with, with how bad Georgia has played. But I want to see the dogs blow the brakes off of Auburn. I want this to be a 59 nothing type deal. No offense to Auburn. Georgia – almost lost to Auburn last year, and you could have made a case that Georgia should have lost to Auburn. So I'm going to take the dogs here, limit the rush game uh, for the Tigers. Uh, I don't think Jark West Hunter is going to do much through the ground. He probably catches a few passes, but I got the dogs 31-10. to 10. Yeah, so the only way I think Auburn sticks around in this game is we talked about the explosive playmakers, and that's why their yards per pass looks a lot better than it actually is. Georgia, to me, so far this year, this has been the worst tackling under Kirby Smart, at least the last four or five years. So maybe they're able to get it out quickly to their playmakers and they miss tackles and they're able to make big plays. That's really the only way I think Auburn hangs in this football game. They've been in every game, like you said. The problem is they have untimely turnovers. We saw it last week with Peyton Thorne throwing that pick six. Like, First of all, why even throw in there? To me, just run the ball because Oklahoma proved they could not score really in that game. So that didn't really make any sense to me. But then, I mean, you throw that interception and it's basically over from there because both those teams are just so offensively challenged. And I think it's just going to be too hard for Auburn in this game. And I would agree with you. To me, you're going to be right about Georgia on this season if they come out in this game and this first half is a struggle. If this first half is a struggle, that is no longer, like, to me, couldn't be changed. It's just a pattern in who you're probably going to end up being the whole year, which would suck for you guys. But that's, I mean, realistically, after this many games, I don't really see it changing at that point. It'd be, what, five games into the season. So, you know, almost halfway. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're going to come out and just beat the crap out of them right away. I have Georgia in this game 41-14, so I'm taking the 24.5 points. I think Georgia covers that spread. I'm also taking the over here, barely, I guess, 55. So I'm going to do that, and then let's take some of your comments. I hope you're right. I hope you're Uh, right. I don't want to sweat this game out. (laughs) Yeah, it'll be interesting. Like I said, I, I you'll be able to know from the first half how this season yeah. honestly is going to go for Georgia. If they're going to if play around with Auburn after just getting beat by Alabama, then you're probably right. They may not make the playoff. Um, Auburn is going to get spacked by Georgia. SG1, obviously, an Auburn fan. Auburn will blow it and lose by three or get blown out and lose by 35. I kind of agree with that. I don't think there's a middle game here. I don't think this is a 14-point game. I think this is a close game or they're going to get – absolutely steamrolled Jackson I don't know about that I think it's more of a quarterback situation um I just don't think they have a guy there at all yeah and the, the funny thing about that is they were the much better team against Oklahoma they were way and, and, and to be honest with you they were way better than Oklahoma and they they found a way to lose they missed three field goals listen if they make all uh, well two they missed two field goals if they make both field goals at worst we're going to OT um, and then, well, Auburn probably chokes that away anyway. But it was just, it's just sad how Auburn has found ways. To, you lost the game because you threw a pick six of five. Name, a, name another team that's done that. By the way, five with four minutes left. And they were at midfield. It's not like they were in the red zone where I could say, okay, you're taking a chance to throw a touchdown. Like, why are you? I just don't understand throwing in that situation yeah. versus because you shouldn't be believing in Peyton Thorne. What has he shown you? <laughs> that you're like, you know what, I trust Peyton Thorne to throw this football right now. It doesn't make any sense to me. That's why I'm not even really angry if I'm an Auburn fan at Peyton Thorne for that. Obviously, it's a bad throw. I'm more angry at Hugh Freeze. Why are you calling that? Um, But it is what it is. I I didn't really understand the call when I saw it. Uh, I was obviously rooting for Auburn in that game because I hope Oklahoma goes 0-12 every year. But um, (laughs) it did not turn out that way. 